Hello guys, this is Aisha Makara and the artist voice. Today I have beautiful, amazing Dana. She's an entrepreneur, artist. She's working with Cirque du Soleil and just amazing. No, I'm not. Really? No, no, not? no, no, oh, no. Okay. okay, it's fine. It's no, fine. I do, I do Cirque. So I like doing aerial apparatuses. And so coming out to visit here with a friend in Miami. I live in California. Where are you from? Uh, in Long like Beach. Like so beautiful. southern. Yeah. Can you share with us a little bit your background, like uh, you know, a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so I own a couple businesses. Um, I have a restaurant that I actually just closed to relocate. I have a bar and I'm opening a salon with my sister. She's a badass. <laughs> I try to keep busy. And then my workouts are usually aerial and I teach bar on the side because I just enjoy fitness and movement. That's cool. Yeah, we're here in Accra Yoga, by the way, guys, in South Point. So Dana, what uh, inspires you to create and be so inspirational and do so many different things? And, uh, well, definitely, yeah, so definitely with Ariel, like I love learning about my body, how to take care of my body, how to make it feel good, and then actually like encouraging others to do that. So letting them know they can, you know, I'm usually like the mama bear in class or something where I'm like, you can do that, do it again. So like just getting that sense of community with everyone trying something and not using the word can't and like I just am always trying to do something one up for myself just to like develop. That's beautiful. And what uh, what impact do you want to create with your like activities and what you do? I love, I love sharing. Like, you do what you love. Yeah, I love sharing and I didn't start like I didn't start in, even into aerial or acro until I was 37 and I'm 41 and so when I found like yeah, when I found it, Badass. I was like naturally attracted to it and I was actually catching on really quick. I was like, if I can do this at 37 and 41, then everyone needs to be able to try this. So you're never too old. Exactly. <laughs> it's never late, guys. No, always try. Always try. Always do your best. Yep. Um, how do you see yourself in the art community or in the circus community in five years from now? Do you yeah. have an idea of yourself? Actually, you yeah. So generally speaking, like the older I'm getting and the more I'm getting my businesses established, I'm trying to um, actually keep them sustainable and keep them running by and I can pull away so that I can do fun things like train for a couple hours a day and take trips where I can work remote and stuff. And, you know, over the last year, I've finally been able to do that so I can come out here and work on my laptop and then come do acro and learn something new and meet new people. Yeah, that's amazing. And do you have uh, dreams that you want to share with us? Mm, a that dream. You um, there's so many. I would definitely say if I'm talking about like my aspirations in performing, like I would it's not a dream, it's it's a like need to do, so it's in the inner circle of like must must do's, but I want to do a couple aerial competitions and I would love to at least like get first in something. So I'm hoping like either Lyra or Flying Pole compete in my wow. age demographic and my level She's an and, woman. and win. Just yeah, because Yeah, of course. I mean I love playing but I also appreciate a sense of accomplishment. <laughs> Any advice to the people who just started their career and don't, I mean, who don't, doesn't know what to do with their life, who doesn't know what they love and like what they can, you know? I feel like once you have direction, you can use reflection. So I see a lot of people, they won't take a step foot forward. They might shimmy to the left or the right, and so they're not actually finding a direction, but they're afraid to take a chance on what they actually want to do. So if you take that foot forward, once you say yes, you'll figure the rest out as you go. So once you have a direction, you can have reflection on how to handle whatever you're doing. Because if you know the path, you're gonna figure it out as you go. Whereas if you don't choose a path, you're gonna be floundering and you might not like, you You won't have any forward movement with what you wanna do. That's correct, I love it. Guys, it was Aisha Makar yeah. and the artist was Andana today. She's really badass, guys. <laughs> Follow me and subscribe. Bye for now, love Bye. you. Bye.